you'll be rejected uh, 99 times out of the 100 tries that you put in. My name is Tandi Sinomadi Nechiswinje. Uh, I am an accountant and I ventured into project management as well. I hold a master's in project management and I also have a master's in business administration. I am a social entrepreneur. I have a passion of making sure that we build uh, future leaders as early as we can by stimulating them with proper education, making sure that they are fed well, uh, making sure that we provide infrastructure for learning that is proper for their stimulation and also tools for learning and play. actually a good question uh, that you're asking. I was actually just born here in Johannesburg. <laughs> I study in a Vets Technicon and uh, yeah, the rest is there. I studied at uh, University of KwaZulu Natal as well and Vets Business School and all of that. Then I pursued then being an accountant and I did auditing and all that was that needs to be done under accounting. But then because it wasn't my passion, I didn't see myself giving back as much as I want to give back to communities. That is my fulfillment spiritually and with my personal development as well. I think I was depressed for quite some time and I had to sit down and relook look into what I really want to do. Because even in that time, just after the auditing and accounting experience I got, I started my own business that was in 2004, I started my consulting practice, but it was still looking into accounting work. So I used to do a lot of that accounting, but I wasn't uh, complete <laughs> even doing that. You know, you st I still came back and I felt that, you know what, it's just a job. So I needed to do something that resonates with my soul. And someone just spoke to me about children and I was like, no, you know what, I grew up loving children so much. Let me see if I can be able to participate in this proposal that was tabled before me. And we ended up partnering and we've been running that for the past five years now. And I will do other projects, obviously, but then this really gives me sleep. Uh, it's something that I wake up and I start thinking what change can I do out there to develop my communities and I can even see the results uh, in terms of what I do each and every day. Yeah, that's still a challenge even today uh, for many businesses that really want to kick off from the ground. And most of the time, what you really need is just that injection. For me, when I started consulting, I had worked before, so I had a bit of savings uh, that I had, even in my retirement fund. So I converted those into liquid cash and uh, I then bought the necessary equipment that I needed to establish the business. I tried to establish them out of my own savings. Obviously that was not enough, so I really needed help in that regard. So most of the time you approach financial institutions and the requirements that are there as a small business, you are unable to meet them. I mean, I couldn't produce financial statements of the past three years for them to evaluate and see my bank my bankability. So all of that was a challenge, I must say. But as far as the banks, I struggled, I must say. And also these financial institutions, I also struggled pursuing them in order to give uh, me funding. 
family support and also you need to create special networks of the people that have been in the industry uh, so that you are able to uh, share your challenges with them and uh, some that are very honest will be able to assist you and I was fortunate enough in that regard as well that there's someone that believed in me and really wanted to help me uh, 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 with uh, the capital injection into the business. Some of them are said, like uh, the financial management, um, you start uh, getting a job and you think it will just pay, you know, when month end comes because you are so used to this salary mentality that, you know, month end comes, you get a salary. So you are also thinking that, you know, when month end comes, my client will pay. But then your client pays uh, four, six months after down the line. So it, that was quite a challenge because at some point I was fighting with banks, you know, I had a car, I couldn't pay for, I had a bond, I couldn't pay for. It's very important uh, to know what are the financial needs and project them as far as possible. And I think you also need a bit of uh, mentorship as well. Uh, I threw myself into the deep and I just had to learn how to swim out of that deep. It was quite a challenge. Sometimes I would cry because I would make stupid, stupid mistakes because I don't understand probably just simple things that are regarded general. But reading helps, helps a lot. Uh, I managed to make sure that I read every little thing because you go into meetings and uh, people will be talking in codes and you don't really understand it. You don't want to expose yourself that you don't understand what that is because you know people will start uh, asking themselves, what are you doing here then? So you keep that uh, to yourself and you want to ask later on. But then if you don't have this person, to ask, uh, then it becomes a challenge as well. So I think a bit of mentorship is also important. Make sure that your client is always happy. That will actually uh, even build you a brand kind of, that will market you uh, because uh, there will be referrals that come from uh, uh, making sure that you've fulfilled that job that you were doing uh, perfectly. So client satisfaction is very key. You need to make sure that uh, you are honest. Uh, be honest with everything uh, that you are doing. Do not take uh, shortcuts. Uh, be honest uh, and make sure that you fulfill everything with honesty. That's very important. Again, I'll still go back uh, to financial management. When you get paid uh, the salary today, make sure that you save that salary for the next six months. So uh, financial management is very critical. If you want your business to be sustainable, do not get paid and go and buy everything that is not necessary for the business with the money that you have. Uh, there is also a key factor of time management. You need to understand your schedules in whatever job that you are undertaking. In everything that you do, make sure that you keep the time. Uh, it is very critical, it is money, it is important to your clients, so it is important as well uh, to you. Above all, um, for me, uh, the other critical one, I know I'm being spiritual, but it's very important uh, for whatever I do in business. Uh, God, uh, he's at the helm of everything. I pray, I pray for whatever submissions that I'm putting through. Uh, that sustains me as well as a person in whatever that I do. That also sustains me in terms of being a mother, in terms of being a wife, in terms of being a business person. Whatever that goes well with your spirituality, put it into business as well. When it comes to business, you have to be very strict on financial management. In the first six months of me establishing my consulting company, 
I didn't have like a proper salary. So uh, I didn't have any allocation for entertainment. The whole focus was on business. I only started getting, a, 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 well, I can even call it a stipend. <laughs> a stipend after six months, whatever that was possible, I saved in the business. Uh, I wanted to see the business grow. I wanted to take the business to the next level. If you want to see your business grow, you've got to prioritize certain things that when it comes to your own self, you won't be able to do them because you are focusing on business. When it comes to projects that you are taking on, uh, there are those that uh, will be proposed to you, which are not according to what you believe in and you have to make sure that you do everything that you believe in so uh, let go of those that you see that they will get you into trouble uh, they are a quick way of making money but you don't believe it's not who you are it's not what you believe in so you've got to let go of those so i had to also make sure that i don't get uh, myself involved in such projects i really want to encourage all the youth that is out there go out there speak to people do what you really want to do uh, that will bring about change, that will define who you are. Do not stop knocking at any door. You'll be rejected uh, 99 times out of the 100 tries that you put in, but there will be just that one door that gets to be open, and that window or door will definitely bring about who you are. So never stop trying. Go out there and define yourself and make sure that you do what you want to do. My name is Tadi Sinomadi Nechi Swinje. You are watching Black Excellence series brought to you by Benita Daniel.